Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. I'm really excited to be bringing you this video. Before I get into it, I just want to say a few things. It is like super windy outside, so I'm really, really sorry if you can hear the wind in the background. I film right beside my window, and I noticed lately when I'm editing videos, you can kind of hear it, so I'm really sorry about that. Secondly, I'm trying out this nail polish for the first time today. And I just wanted to share the color with you in case you're curious. It's Formula X by Sonia Richards Ross. It's Sephora. So it was discontinued and I got it for like a huge clearance price. Sometimes in the sales section you can still see Formula X nail polishes. I just put it on today so I don't know anything about the wear time. But like I'm loving this cobalt blue color and it's definitely something unique to my collection. I'm sure it is the color that you can definitely find at the drugstore, but I just wanted to share that with you because I'm super excited about it. Thirdly, I am loving my look today. This, I'm like so excited about my eyeshadow look, just like you guys can see it. I, it is like the, my favorite look that I've ever done. I'm like super duper proud of myself. I think it looks really nice. I hope you guys agree. And if you are interested on how I got this look, I did a post on Instagram that kind of showcases the majority of the makeup I used in this look. So if you want to go check out my Instagram, I will leave the link down below. Please go check it out so you can see what I'm using. I'm just like really in love with this look and I hope you guys like it too. Now to get into the video. So this is a haul that spans a array of purchases and gifts from quite an extended time period. I have this thing where I don't want to start diving into my makeup collection before I haul it on my channel so I haven't used any of these things yet but these are things from like the holidays which we are now in March. The holidays were some time ago and from my birthday and just so it's kind of a collective haul from a long period of time. And the reason why it's taken me so long to kind of share this with you guys is because I have, I started my project pan the beginning of January and I have been super focused on panning my makeup and finishing up the items in that project and just working on what I already have that I didn't want to open anything else and because I didn't want to open it, I didn't want to haul it and now here we are in March and I'm showing you stuff I got from December. So that's kind of why it's taken so long but I'm really excited to finally be opening these items for like the first time, showing you guys swatches, just showing you what I have, what I'm probably going to be playing with for the next month I think because there is quite a bit here but I will definitely be doing a haul update so make sure that you subscribe so and I, when I post that haul update in about a month or so hopefully I can get it up sooner but I really want to give everything a thorough chance before I tell you guys my thoughts on it so make sure you subscribe so you can be updated when I upload that video. So let's get right into this. My first few products are from Tarte and I got these as birthday gifts and I ordered them off the site because they weren't available at Sephora. So really not much I could do about it but it was one of their blush kits, five pan blushes and this little mini duo bronzer highlight. So I'm going to take these out of the packaging so you guys can actually see the colors and we can do some swatches. The first one I popped out of the packaging I dropped but they are resilient so it is fine. So I have them all swatched for you here. We have Splendor, Journey, Flare, Majesty, and Traveled. These are the first Amazonian clay blushes I've ever owned, but I've heard really good things about them. So I'm super excited that I was able to get a test and try a bunch of them. Next are the Tarte bronzer and highlighter do I got. So this is the bronzer in Hotel Eris, and this is the highlighter in Exposed Highlight. The bronzer smells like vanilla. It's really good. I'm super excited for all of these products. Just because I'm talking about Tarte stuff, I'm just going to mention that I did pick up the Sephora birthday gift. The blush is in Party and the lip paint. I mean, I'm sure everyone's seen this a million times. It was last year's birthday gift, so nothing new. Next, I have an order from Beautylish. So I got a few things I really wanted to try and I've heard a lot about. So I picked up the RCMA No Color Powder looks like this. Everyone has said like such amazing things about this powder so I'm really excited to see how that wears. And then I picked up two Jeffree Star items. So first I picked up the Velour Lip Scrub in Pancakes and Syrup. It looks like this. This isn't the, I guess, flavor, because it's not a shade, scent, I don't know, flavor that I had originally wanted but they sell out of these and they're sold out a lot of the time so I picked up Pancake and Syrup seemed like a good one. They had a lot of like root beer, root beer float. I really do not like the smell of root beer and do not want it anywhere near my mouth. 
So I had very limited options to choose from what was available. And the other item I picked up was one of his Velour Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Sagittarius. I am super excited about this one. I've, like I said, these are the first Jeffree Star products I've never picked up, so I don't know if the lipsticks are really drying. Uh, drying. I honestly haven't watched too many reviews on it, but my sign is Sagittarius. I love purpley shades, so this just seemed like such a perfect, and I'm really happy that it's finally in my collection. I also placed in order at Urban Decay, and I had gotten my makeup done at an Urban Decay counter months ago, and I really liked how it turned out, so I've slowly been purchasing up the products so that I could recreate the base look for it. So I picked up the last two products I need for that. The first being the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Pressed Finishing Powder in Naked Light. It looks like this, so it's just a setting powder and it gives a little bit of coverage. I tried to swatch it, you can barely see it, but it is really soft. The next thing I picked up is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in Fair Warm. I did test this out on my hand at the store and it does oxidize, so that is something to be aware of if you are getting get it. I haven't tested it on my face yet, but put it on your hand, walk around the store, wait for it to dry a bit before you pick your shade. So here is a fair warm. The next item I picked up was a travel size of the Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. They were out of the full size. And this was one of the items that was used in when I got my makeup done at the counter that I really liked. So I kind of heard mixed reviews on came out with these primers. I'm glad I was able to just buy a travel size so I could see if I really do like it on its own or if it was just like some magical thing they did that day. Because sometimes I wonder if I can really recreate the looks that get done at counters, so I'm happy that I didn't spend like the $40 it is for the full size. And then with that order, I got a little mini duo thingy for the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and the Eyeshadow Primer Potion from Urban Decay, and I haven't tried this product yet, so I'm really excited to test this out. I do have a full size of this as well, but it was a free gift with purchase, I'm not gonna say no, and it's nice to have a little mini size for traveling. And then also from that purchase, just a free sample size, of the lipstick back talk which is a comfort matte i've never tried any of the urban decay lip products before this is the shade right here there is a swatch of it it definitely looks up a shade that is very up my alley so i'm super happy about that because obviously when you're getting gift with purchases you don't always get to choose the shade that you get so it's really nice that this is actually a shade i would wear and I'm very excited about so the rest of these products I got for my birthday or the holidays from Sephora, so I'm just going to kind of try to split it up into brand when I show you the products I got. I got two mini Becca highlighters. I have never owned a Becca highlighter before, so I am super excited about these. I got the shades Moonstone and Vanilla Quartz. And just so you can see swatches, this is Moonstone and this is Vanilla Quartz. The reason why I got mini is because I know the full size is a better value, but it takes a crazy amount of time to go through a highlighter. So even though it's better value for money, if you're not using up all the product and it expires, then you have wasted your money. So because I knew I was getting that Tarte one and I have other highlighters already in my collection, though highlighters are something I probably have the fewest of when it comes to that makeup item. Maybe not so much after this haul. But I didn't want to get the full sizes because I was like, am I ever really going to get through them? So that's something to think about when you're purchasing makeup. If it comes in a mini, even though it might not be better cost for money, if you're not going to use up the whole product, I don't know, just something to think about. Okay, so I don't want to take this one out of the packaging yet, but I was so excited to receive this for my birthday. It is the Hypnotic Poison Perfume by Dior. I love this scent so much. I just recently discovered it, and it is so nice. It has like this vanilliness, vanilliny, vanilliny, vanilla scent to it but it's not too florally or sweet but it's not too heavy either it's just like this beautiful like sexy scent i have no other way to describe it but if you have not smelled this i highly recommend that you go to a sephora you go to a dior counter and ask to smell hypnotic poison because it is amazing i also really like poison girl which i think i might get maybe like in another year because i'm trying to pan perfume now and it takes me a long time to get perfume through perfumes i'm realizing so definitely probably will not be picking up another one for a while, but that is another one I'm interested in. For the holidays, I also got a sugar lip treatment by Fresh. I had a trial size one of these before and I absolutely loved it, but I never picked up the full size because it was 
so expensive, but it was like the best lip balm I've ever used. So I was super happy that I got this as a present and it took me quite a while to go through that one and I did not realize like how much bigger the full size was. So I am hoping this is going to last me well, but I'm really happy that I thought it was 20 some odd dollars for that tiny one. So I'm glad to know that this is a bigger size. <laughs> Speaking of lip treatments, I also got the Laneige Special Care Leap Sleeping Mask. Looks like this. I am super excited to test this out. I've heard such amazing things about it. It almost looks like a candle to be honest, <laughs> but it must, gonna, must be a very thick balm. That's all I can think. But I'm super excited about this. I have very dry lips. Summer, winter, doesn't matter. My lips are really dehydrated, so I'm really hoping that this is going to help. I've heard such amazing things. I had it in my like love list on Sephora and then it said for a long time that the item was no longer available in Canada. But then for some reason I was able to order it at a later date but so I don't know if it exists or you just can't get it in Canada because I couldn't find it in a store here. So there was a weird thing going on but I'm just really happy that I was able to finally get it. Speaking of lips, I got a lipstick from Nude Sticks. And it comes in this really cool case and then you open it up and it's like a mirror on the lid. I don't want to blind you guys to like show it to you but I thought that was really cool packaging. What I got is a magnetic matte lip color in burgundy. So it looks like this. I literally just took like the plastic wrapping off of this so I've never tested it but there it is there. I bought it because of Jamie Page. I saw her fall lip colors fall lip favorite lip colors for fall or like something like that and and she was wearing this in it or she mentioned it and I was like so blown away I'm like I need that lip color so super happy to have this in my collection even though we're way past fall almost past winter next item I got was a Marc Jacobs highliner and it is a gel eyeliner and I've just heard so many things about them but I didn't want to pick up a black or a brown or a shade I already have because I have a million of those shades I don't need another one and for a while I really wanted like a midnight blue color so I picked up the shade it's called wavelength and it looks like this here kind of match my nails but it's almost like a midnight blue it looks like I'm not sure if this was a matte one or if it was supposed to have some sparkle to it but there it is there I am super excited about it I kind of wanted a navy shade but I wasn't able to find one so if you know of a really good navy eyeliner please let me know because I'm still kind of interested in kind of adding that to my collection but I think for now this will fill that need. Next is a Cover FX Custom Enhancers Drop Set and it looks like this and it's just little four minis of the enhancer drops. And I didn't want full size because I think it would be very hard to go through a full one of these. I didn't even know if I would really like them and I wanted to test out a few shades so I thought a little set would be perfect. I love the holidays for like the little sets. I think it's a great way to try something out that you're interested in, don't want to commit to a full size. Oh, these are glass bottles. Did not know that before I just tried to dump them out of the packaging. First is this one which is Halo. It's so cute. And it's just like this beautiful... Next is Moonlight. Next we have Celestial. And last we have Rose Gold. This is the one that I'm nervous could be a tinge too dark for me. Halo seems like a very different consistency than the others. But here they all are here. So we have Halo. It's kind of like this iridescent. It is so beautiful. Mm, this is what happens when you don't pay attention. I think it was Moonlight, then Celestial, and then Rose Gold. So... These two are my favorite. I feel like this could work on me in the summer. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. But they are all so beautiful and reflective. A This is like a tiny drop and this was almost too much. So a little bit goes a long way. I think those little mini sizes are going to be just perfect. Next I got a few products from Huda Beauty. So Huda Beauty um, came out with those like little tiny palettes. The Obsession palettes I think they're called. So I picked up the Mauve Obsessions because I'm totally drawn to the, these types of shades and I'm super excited for it. There's also a warm brown one I was interested in but did not get, but my mom got it and recently when I was home, I kind of stole it from her and I don't even think she noticed, so it's fine. And I am using that in conjunction with the Sweet Peach Palette and a few other things on my lids today. So definitely have been using the warm brown obsessions and absolutely loving it. So I have very high hopes for the mauve obsessions. And the other palette I got from Huda Beauty, I'm so excited about. I like 
oh, anything happened to this palette, I think I would cry. Especially because in Canada, these are like $80, but it was a gift. But still, like, it's crazy. <laughs> but it is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I am just like beyond amazed by how beautiful this is. And I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this already. I'm like so nervous about the shadow falling out to show it to you. Like, oh, it's so pretty. I'm like so excited. As I'm sure you can tell from like the mauve obsessions, I really love purples. I'm wearing a very warm look on my eye today. So this just like, I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm like not showing it well. I'm really. I know they're not going to fall out, but like I'm just nervous. It's like, it, it's, it's expensive, it's pretty, don't want any harm to come to it. It's just, I want to be very gentle with it. Remember how I just painted my nails before this video? Long like idea to paint your nails and then open a bunch of packaging. I don't know why I do that. I feel like I do it a lot. I should know better. Probably not going to change my ways. So I got another eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. Probably should have mentioned this when I did the other Urban Decay stuff, but oops. And it is the Moon Dust palette. This is like on pretty good sale right now at Sephora. I think it's like was 70 something and now it's like 49. Still very expensive when you consider that you're only getting like eight shades. But they're so pretty. Yeah, kind of looking at it, I'm kind of like, wow, you spent that much money for this. But it is what it is. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm, I just like, I love glitter. I'm super excited for light year. Magnetic, I think it's going to be beautiful. Vega, that, just all of them. Honestly, they all look so pretty and like in the light, they are so reflective. I'm actually very excited to see these all over my lids. I've, I'm, it's going to be good. I'm definitely going to be doing videos featuring this eyeshadow palette. So the way I kind of talk about eyeshadow palettes is I test them out for some time and then I do a get ready with me where I use that eyeshadow palette and kind of give a review in the get ready with me. So I've done that with the Kat Von D Shade and Light, which I will link down below if you're interested in checking that out. But I am going to be doing it with some other palettes from previous hauls and that's definitely going to be something I do with these palettes. So again, if you want to see my reviews and thoughts on those palettes, make sure you subscribe so you're updated when I upload those videos. Next product. I assure you we're getting close to the end, is the YSL All Hours Foundation, and I got the shade BR20. It looks like this. I heard such amazing things about this foundation, so I'm super excited to test that out. And then I got another foundation, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, which I got in the shade Snow. Currently on my channel, I have a series where I do first impression foundations, and I tend to post those videos on Friday, but sometimes, not every Friday, it doesn't work out that way, but you'll definitely be seeing both of these foundations coming up, but if you're interested in really seeing one before the other, like, comment down below, let me know, because I try to kind of intersperse it between high-end drugstore, high-end drugstore, so if I don't do this one next, it might not be for a little bit of a while, because I have a few ideas for that, but. So if you're interested in seeing those foundations, they will be coming up in that series. I got a few more things from Too Faced from the Peach Perfect line. I got the Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I don't know if it's translucent, but I think it only comes in the one shade, whatever that shade may be. I will soon find out. And also from the Too Faced Peach Perfect line, I got the Just Peachy Mattes palette. There it is. It is so beautiful. I'm so excited for this shade here. I really like this shade. I really like and I do have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, so I really think this will complement it nicely. And the last item I got is also from Too Faced, and it is their Glitter Glue, which is just a glitter eyeshadow primer I figured with the Moon Dust and the Shimmer Shades in the Desert Dusk Huda Beauty palette. I would definitely be needing a primer like this, so I definitely picked that up because I want it to all look nice. I spent all that money on those eyeshadows, I want them to stay on my eye. So again... <laughs> This is quite a long one. I have a lot of products to test before I do that haul update, so that's why I can't tell you right now exactly when it will be up. So that's why you should subscribe if you want to see that haul update so you can be uploaded when I post that video. Thank you so much for watching this very long haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so excited about all these products. If you have any of these products, can you leave me a comment down below letting me know how you like it, how your best way to wear it, what you enjoy. If you didn't enjoy it, I want to I want to know these things. I know I already hauled them, but I like hearing other people's opinions and thoughts and how it worked for them, so please share that with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.